Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today I'd like to talk about a great piece of software out there created by Google called SketchUp. And SketchUp is a 3D modeler, but it's much more than that. It's designed to make drawing in 3D easy. Now, the way you get to that is just go to Google, type in SketchUp, and up will come their links, and click on SketchUp Home. And there's two versions out there. There's an absolutely free version that you can use, and there's a pro version. Now, if you're an academic, that is a faculty member or a student, you can get SketchUp Pro for free. If not, uh, Google SketchUp for free is great as well. Now, the big difference between the Pro and between the free license, as far as we're concerned, is the fact that the Pro has a Carlotta output. And we're so interested in Carlotta because it has the potential of working in paper vision, and paper vision is the new 3D flash, if you're not aware of that. So we're in SketchUp now, so let's draw something like a dog house or something like that. Let's come along here and click on this guy. We'll get rid of him. Hit the delete key and he's gone. And let's draw a rectangle. Come along here and drag a rectangle. We'll actually draw a square. And you know it's a square when you have a diagonal highlight. There we go. That's a square. And let's come along here to the push-pull tool and let's push that up. There you go. Just over it and push it up. And then we're going to come to the pan tool and bring this down a little bit so we can look at the top and grab the pencil tool and we're going to actually come along here and slide along this outside edge and when it turns magenta you know you're in the middle come along here to the next one red you're not on but magenta there you're on in the middle and kind of come along here and going to select that middle line and going to hit our move tool and going to move that up there you go if I hold the shift key while I'm doing it it'll go straight up and down good and now I have a little arch on my house there let's go ahead and uh, move this around a little bit so we can see it. There we go. And we're actually going to shift it back now. There we go. With the uh, zoom. Good. Now I'm going to come along here and put a door in this house. So come down here and grab the rectangle tool and let's draw a rectangular door. And I want to put an arch over that door. So I'm going to grab the arch tool. Click here. Click on the other side and then just arch it up. Now let's grab my eraser tool and get rid of that middle line. We're good. And now let's go ahead and grab my push-pull tool again. I'm going to push it back just a little bit. And I'm going to come, oops, not forward. You could go forward, but let's go back. And let's click on that with my selection tool and hit the delete key and that's gone. And now I actually have a door in there so we can actually look inside this particular house. There we go. And it's a little bit plain, so let's put some textures on it. So I'm going to come along here and grab this uh, paint can and let's look for a uh, a little uh, wood texture and let's grab some wood and we'll put some wood on the outside there we go and uh, let's string this around and put it on the other side as well there we go move this over here good and let's put it on the back there we go. Good. Let's put some shingles on the top of the house. Let's make sure we're all the way around the house, though. Let's come around here and go around the house. And you can see we're kind of off a little bit, so let's zoom back so we can see more of it. There we go. We're good. Let's put some shingles on the top. So I'll come along here and select a shingle. Let's go to roofing, and there's some shingles. Put a shingle there. Let's uh, get another perspective on this house. See if we've got the other side yet. And there we go. We're looking pretty good. And let's come along here and put a carpet inside the house. I can see I got wood on the inside, so I can actually fill the inside walls in as well. So let's go ahead and uh, get carpet first, though. So come along here. Hit. Uh, carpets. And so it's going to be a very uh, privileged dog with carpeting and inside out uh, shingles and just everything a dog might uh, want in his dog-like house. So let's come along here and uh, put a um, little uh, window in the dog's house as well. We don't want the dog to miss its master. We'll zoom back so we can actually see this. There we go. And let's put a little window there and we'll put a circular window kind of like a, I don't know, something you might see on a submarine. There you go. And we'll come along with the push-pull tool. 
And we'll push that back a little bit. There we go. And then we'll select it and just delete it. Hit the delete key. And there you go. And you can uh, now look inside the dog house. Just real quick here, uh, there is a great tool in SketchUp, and it is the ability to section this off to look at uh, portions of the house. So I can actually come along here and go to Tools and hit Section Plane. And my section plane will conform to the geometry of the house. So if I want to look, go that way, I could click that, hit my uh, Move tool, and move that in, and actually section off the house and see different parts of it. I can actually have that disappear by going to View, take the section plane away, and I'll actually rotate around and see different portions of the house. I could do that from top, bottom, or from side, side, or actually in a, any plane direction that conforms that it conforms to. So a really neat tool. It's used a lot in architecture. And this is the basics of SketchUp. Now let me just say something here. SketchUp is really easy to learn. I'm going to bring up a little the panel here. There are tons of sites out there where you can go and learn quite a bit. Uh, Google itself, sketchup.google.com forward slash vtutorials.html has a wonderful set of tutorials and some that work with textures and show you how to prepare textures to lay right on top of these houses. We'll actually be doing some of that uh, on a upcoming video. So let's go to a really neat tool in SketchUp and that is, and we'll go to new and we won't save any of these changes, and that is bringing in 3D models from the 3D warehouse and there are tons and tons of 3D models. And for example, one of the things I was interested in was creating a reading room for one of my Over the Rhine pieces. So I'm just going in here and type in reading. And in pops a, a number of models. And I mean there are just so many models in uh, this uh, 3D warehouse that you can't ever look at all of them. So it's just a great wealth of uh, graphics that have already been drawn. Some of them are very detailed and they're easy to use. Let's click on this reading room. I'm going to import that right into SketchUp. All right, just give it a moment. And there it is. And I can actually rotate around it. Let's do that. And this is absolutely the graphic I've been looking for. Let's zoom out for my uh, Over the Rhine uh, reading room. So here's our reading room, and it's so great to have these graphics pre-drawn for you. Uh, we can go actually go in here and add and modify. Uh, we're going to export this as a 2D graphic, bring it into Flex, and add some uh, hot spots here so we can uh, bring in articles and possibly some video and audio. And all you have to do is go File and Export and export the 2D graphic. You have a number of export options. We'll just choose JPEG for now, and we'll just call it Reading Room. OTO, Over the Rhine. Can export that. But there are also 3D export options. And if you go there, you can see the big difference between uh, Pro and the free version is the 3D model. And I, I'm specifically interested in the Colada export here. And the reason is because uh, Flash and Flex have gone 3D and they're using this Colada format. So that 3D engine right now, the, the most popular one is Paper Vision. And we're really looking forward, hopefully, in the next six months of incorporating this technology, all these 3D models, into our Flex applications. And so we'll get out of that. And once again, if you want to learn more about using SketchUp, go to these different sites or just search SketchUp on YouTube, and there's tons and tons of stuff. It's easy to learn, and it's free.